chaotic restock before con. It's, um, yeah, that's a restock bin. We have no stickers yet. Nope, and they better be at my house before I get home. UPS has had emergencies for what? Five days now? Five days. Yeah. Five so. Days. Where they keep telling me that the stickers are out for delivery and then they're not. And then it takes four different phone calls just to get confirmation that it's mm -hmm. going to be delivered today is what they say. So. Yes. These are her new stands too. They look really nice. They're huge. And they have like a little volleyball thing. They're nice. What? And then what? She, oh, you have a new Psyche here. Rin is new too. And then they also have charms. There's why is it? Yeah, we don't have those yet because UPS is playing games. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is uh, right before the con. Yeah. Oh. There's also a new Pochita. Pochita! Cute. So we'll get there. Maybe we'll have a video of an update of when it's all in the car. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. We've spent many a time. And it's time. We got those there. There's a tote already in the car. We have those bags. And then, you know, the storage unit's having some water problems. So, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, there's no no victories without any problems, right? <laughs> we do have most of it in there, though. <laughs> this all may have to change. And she is going to go get more Eda bags and stuff because we have... And eat a bag. They're just literally like right here. So we'll see. It's always fun like traveling because we have to put luggage and all that fun other stuff in here. So we'll see. So it is Thursday, July 25th. Yes, 25th. And it, we are all packed up, or I'm all packed up, uh, to head over to Austin for DreamCon. I'm gonna go pick up Brittany so that she can put her stuff in and then we can head to Austin. So here's hoping that it's a good weekend. This is probably the most I've spent for con prep. So I've heard that it's a pretty good con, so I'm hoping that that's true. Um, if not, then I'll have a bunch of stuff for San Japan already. So it'll be either me being already ready for Jan San Japan, or it'll be me having to really hurry up and restock real fast in like the next month. So we'll see. Hello everyone. I'm here again to talk to you about our sponsor, Munbin. So Munbin was kind enough to send me a sample of their thermal printer as well as some of their labels. I've been using Munbin for the past year to create my shipping labels and the printer I had was the standard like black color and so when they offered to send me this purple one that matches my shop aesthetic I could not pass it up. If you didn't know, thermal printers use heat to make the labels instead of using ink, so you don't have to waste your precious ink on making shipping labels, which we all know is a vital resource. They also sent me this cool little stand that holds the shipping labels while you're printing so it can help keep it straight in the machine. So you can easily connect through Bluetooth on your iPad or on your phone, and once the app finds the printer, it will give you the options for the different types of labels that you can feed through the machine. Munmin has thousands of pre-made templates that you can use for your shop, ranging anywhere from wedding to shop or parties, anything that you can kind of think of, food related, clothing related, just anything that you could use for your business. And once you choose a template, you are able to go in and make adjustments, like where it's placed, how big it is, and things like that. And then you can go to the printer and easily print it. They even have labels specifically for shipping, like handle with care, in case you have something fragile that you want to send through the mail. I also find it useful for more than just shipping, so I am using the Munbin app to create custom labels for my uh, tumblers. I also use them for my glass cups. It makes it really easy whenever I'm out at an in-person event that I'm able to see off the top of them what design it is I'm grabbing. I'm also creating labels that say that they are hand wash only, as well as using their QR code function to create a label with the QR code to my shop. So now you can see I have like a nice aesthetically pleasing 
label for my boxes instead of just using Sharpie. And even though these boxes have a clear window where I can see the design, whenever they are at my in-person shop, whenever I'm at conventions, I can't see that from where they are so it's easy just to see from the top with the name labeled as well as having the hand wash only and a QR code so that people can just scan it and go straight to my shop so that in case they lose my business card or anything like that they have their box from whenever they bought the product for me and they are able to still access my shop. So if you feel like the Mumbin printer is a right fit for you, I have some links in my description to the printer, to the stand, as well as labels that you can use for the printer. And you can use those to check it out and get one for yourself. So we made it to Austin. We are parked in the loading dock and we got all our stuff loaded in. We didn't record loading in because like we have 20 minutes and it's like I got one minute to get to my car to move it. But we got everything in. Yeah, hopefully the next clips will be set up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we've got like the frame of the booth up and we've got the boards, all the display boards. So right now, she's doing stickers. Bane of my existence. Gotten buttons. I don't know how well you guys can see them. They're there. They're, they're there. They're pretty good. And then, I'm putting together the standees. So standees are gonna go up there, and then I'm hoping to put acrylic, what are they called? Acrylic pins and enamel pins up there too as self-serve. So yeah, it is 2.22, so we've been here about, I'd say an hour and a half actually setting up, because we got in at about 2, 12.50. So it's not awful. It's just finding a spot for everything. Um, cups have been interesting because we one have more and we left two backs. We had a Pokemon Fall one that matches our sticker sheet over here. And then we also had a Kotsky one that matched this right here in the print that she has. We left them at home, but she has tumblers now. Um, they're 25, I think. And then we have some new shot glasses, but We've made it work, kind of. Um, we have to put like the book right here and the book will always hang off the table. So it's just always fun having to make sure that the pages have like room to turn. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so it is about 4.46 and this is about where we're at. So everything's pretty much same spot. The only couple of new things is we have the standees that are up here that will be taking the place next to the pins and then we have some new cups so the pochita cup and the bt21 cup is new and then i restocked shot glasses so i restocked dragon ball and i restocked sukuna because they've been sold out for a while and then i added gojo cat the betta fish pochita and dynamis been there and then over here the charms are here as usual except we've added a charm board because we had to add all the haiku charms and then Ren and Psyche. The print book is down here and it is hanging on by a thread. So like this table is not as wide as tables usually are. So like this is hanging off and then there's nothing on here, which is fine. And we were gonna take this little hook off, but then we kept catching on it ourselves. So we were afraid people were gonna catch on it. So here's hoping that this doesn't get totally knocked down. And same thing for the buttons, like, we have them about as far out as they can go. And so they're kind of covering the BT21s at the bottom, but I mean, I'm not expecting them to be super popular here because I've heard this is more like a shonen um, crowd anyway. So who knows, but I mean, you can still see them. And obviously if you see Koya, RJ, and Shoki, you're gonna look for the other ones anyway. So um, there's that. Earrings had to go over here on the side as, long, as well as lanyards and badge reels because there just wasn't any room. I can actually take the sold out off of Foxy because he's no longer sold out. We actually have him restocked for this con. Oops, and then phone grips. The only new phone grip is we got uh, Akashi. He's down there, so I had to move all the BT-21s down so that he could be next to Bokuto. 
mystery bags. I have the $10 and $20 like I have in the past. And then I have a $30 bag, which has like enamel pins, acrylic pins, and then also one of these standees in there as well. Then as usual, Eda bags are gonna go across the top, but we're not gonna do that till tomorrow. Then we have mouse pads. So Brittany was able to tape them along the side there. So we were gonna originally lay them across the table, but as you can see, there's just no room for them to be on the table. So we were able to tape them along the side here. And then, and then we have coasters. They're just kind of hanging here. We have magnets holding them up. So hopefully they are seen. And those are just like car coasters, like they're porcelain uh, car coaster, like car coasters, which is good because then you can actually just like clean them off. All right, and then we have, I redid this sign so that it's bigger and it's easier for people to read. And then we have all the stickers down here. All the, most of the new stickers are all the Haikyuu, Ren, Pochita, Psyche. They're all over here. And then we put a couple of the mystery Dino Pen packs right there. I have new sticker sheet designs. So I have this Haikyuu one. And then I have this Pochita one, which I think is my favorite of how it came out. And then BT21 is new. And that's it for the new ones. And then I was able to finally get a restock of Goja Cat and Dynamite. So there's that. And I had to restock Pokemon Fall too, which was like the second time in a really short period of time. So that's good. Self serve buttons. And then back there, we have the photo stand. I'm waiting for Brittany to come back and we'll post. Uh, hoist it up and then we have the body pillows bookend on there so hopefully in theory they're gonna lay flat against the poles of the stand so we have Sukuna which we've had for a while and then this is gonna be Gojo's first time his is so Sukuna has the same print front and back or the same art and then Gojo has that side and then he has a slightly more spicy side on the other side so there's that okay so this is about as done as it's gonna be for today because we don't have the Eda bags up, but that's the only thing that's missing. Um, the only difference is we, from the last clip is that we put the photo stand up. So, uh, Gojo and Sukuna, they're up there. They're chilling, you know? I think people pretty much get the idea. <laughs> people are gonna be spooked when they see the other side of the Gojo because they they're not gonna know what's on the other side of the Gojo till they buy it. So we're about to head out. It's like, we gotta cover it up. It's like five o'clock. So we're gonna cover it up and eat and head to the hotel so yeah it starts i don't know when it starts tomorrow i'll figure it out <laughs> i know we can come in at like 7 a.m but we don't need you i think it's like 7 to 11 is set up so i'm assuming it starts around 11 or 12. but yeah oh yeah so they'll get moved to the back of the table yeah oh yeah i forgot to mention the shirts back here so we have the shirt spread uh spread out and it looks like cyrus is wearing it it's a cute little baby and we are all covered up. But also a really good thing is we have a lot of space in the back, so we were actually able to keep our totes and our uh, dolly. So like, usually we'd have to take two of the totes back, or three of the totes back and the dolly and all that stuff. But we were actually able to keep everything here. That means that we won't have to like go to the car and all that. So we can just like literally pack up and go or figure it out from there, which is good. So I have to, we have to leave on Sunday night, so which usually I, use, I leave the day after, but I can't. And then I'm hoping, since the print box can also fit up here, then we can hold the print box there and then go back there to get prints when people will buy prints. So like, I left and I forgot my car keys to go park my car, and then I came in and this won't lock or close, or well, it won't unlock. So the door is just stuck open, so I gotta go figure that out. Go park the car. <laughs> I just want to eat. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for a snack bag. The snack hole. I got some barbecue chips. These are from Ditton. They just stayed in this bag. Um, oh yeah. She's here. That's not where she belongs. Like, and you have your dots. Those are dead. They, yeah, they've been through it. They're pretty crunchy. All the tuna you can want. Probably more tuna than anyone could ever need. <laughs> Hotel is shit. But all I can hope is that the TV works so we can at least we watch tried something. It. <laughs> we haven't tried it yet. So all I need is for the TV to fucking work. Every time we go down into the lobby, someone is yelling at the receptionist 
and the receptionist is yelling back, and there's just so much cussing, and I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. I just want you all to know, I don't know if it's started recording, I just want you all to know that we're about to leave the hotel, and this, this is, this is the state she's leaving them in. She's taking Kuro, because she doesn't love Kotsky, but she's taking Kuro. <laughs> I'm being, the look I'm getting is mean, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> I've got Gojo Cat from Quaffa Doodle over there, he's just, he'll guard the bed like that, he's fine. <laughs> Okay, so it is 11.17 right now, and this is, so they're doing a soft opening, so they're allowing, like, uh, talent and uh, sponsors, them to come around so they can have a chance to go through and look in the vendor hall, and then at 12, they're going to open it up to VIP, and then 1 o'clock, it opens up to general admission. Brittany went through, and she added the new prints somewhere, yes, so Choso. Sukuna. I only have the big ones for Choso, so I have both of them in hollow. And even my 17. I have 5x7 Sukuna. Forgot to get the 5x7 Choso, so I only have them available in the big size print. And then the high key prints are here. So we have White Power Aliens and then Crow. So we have that. And then we have mystery bags. So we have a 1020. And then the new 30, the card reader, it's fighting for its life it's sitting right here, but it's like the only place you can put it. And then like even business cards had to go on this little extra shelf here because we just did not have any more space to put them like. Oh yeah, and then stickers. So Hinata fell out at home when I was transferring the stickers from the box they came in to a bag. So there's no Hinata sticker. And so there's that. He has a charm. He has a stand. I drew him. I didn't forget about him. He just, his sticker is gone. So any people want Hinata, they'll, they'll get Hinata, just not as a sticker. Because I am a fool. No new decals yet. But I do want to add more decals. So the only problem is is if we're gonna be using this area as self-serve, I don't know where I'm gonna put the decals. Like, literally outgrowing a six foot space, I think is the problem. Because, I mean, we have mouse pads hanging up the side here. We have coasters hanging up the side here. And the only reason this was able to happen is because we could have the photo stand and have the body pillows. Because usually the body pillows would've gone here. So, yeah. I'm getting to the point where six foot is not enough space, but not everywhere it offers eight feet. And then corners, you can't guarantee you always getting a corner, so kind of have to make it work and we were able to make it work so hopefully Friday is pretty good I have like little mini goals set in my head um but I don't want to like you know over expectate or get over expectation on anything so we'll see it's about almost three o'clock we got like 10 minutes till three and it's probably like the best we've done at the beginning of a Friday, honestly. Like we're way, we're further ahead than I thought that we would be like at this point at three o'clock. Cause then we still have like five hours till eight. We've sold two of the Kati uh, Eda bags. So we have three left. So we'll probably, if we continue this trend, we'll probably have to like do pre orders for him and have like free shipping to send him out if it keeps up. But I wasn't expecting, like the Eda bag, the first Eda bag sold pretty quickly, like after General Mission got allowed it. So that was, that was pretty crazy. But yeah, uh, it's been only like a couple of purchases have been like small purchases. Most purchases that have happened have been pretty big purchases. So that's really, really nice. So I'm hoping to make back expenses, at least for table and hotel today and if we continue this track, we'll for sure do that. And then if I could make back parking and gas, that would be even better. So it's a three day con, so it should, it's Saturday is sold out. So I'm expecting there to be, like there's a lot of people here for a Friday, first of all. Like this is for some cons, it's as busy as like Saturdays are for some cons. So I'm expecting tomorrow to be like crazy since they are sold out on both three day patches and the Saturday one day patch, so.
Oh yeah, and I am doing a staff rally with Stick It To Em, Gordon Duell Art. And so if you spend $10 or more at our booth, you get a stamp and after you collect all three stamps, you get like a little goodie bag at the end. And it is a villain themed goodie bag. And so these are the items that are inside. So we have the sticker from Stick It To Em. This is the print that I put in. And then this is Jordan's print. But yeah, and as of right now, which is like a little bit past three on Friday, I have given out two bags. Jordan's given out two, and then I believe Stick It To Em is giving out one or two. So it's actually going pretty well. We're like really early on a stamp rally. So the artist that was supposed to be right here didn't show up. So staff needed the table, so they came and asked if it was okay if they just took it, and we were cool with that. And so our neighbors are spreading out a little bit more, and we just honestly just needed the space just to put this here so that it's easy for us to get into both totes if we need to because that has our extra Eda bags and this has all our other restock stuff. And so we had to take this. Oh, no, sorry. I had Eda bags that has restock stuff. And we had to take that off of here to get to the Eda bags, and it was just a hassle. So we were just like, hey, if we can just keep this here, y'all can have whatever space y'all need. We just need to be able to keep that there, and they were cool with it. So, yeah, we're just kind of communal sharing this, this uh, empty spot now. Let's move on a t-shirt because the traffic flow is different. Oh, right here. Because everybody's really been coming from that direction. So it's fun. Pochita shot glass and the beta fish shot glass are both almost gone because I grabbed the least amount of them unintentionally. I didn't mean to only grab two of each of them, but I did grab less of them because I was expecting like Dragon Ball and Sukuna and Gojo had to do better. And the, those have been selling, but yeah, Pochita and uh, beta fish. The displays are the only ones we have left in them, so if somebody wants to get the display. Three hours, I think, left of the con, and it's going really well. I've made back table and I've made back hotel, and I'm just a little shy of making back parking and gas. So. Alright, so we have, it's like the last 40 minutes left of the last 40 minutes left of Friday and I have made back expenses for table, for hotel, parking for the whole weekend more likely, gas, and we probably could have cover our food. So these next few days here on out are going to be profit, which is really like amazing. Like honestly, I was just like hoping to prayer that I would just make back like table and hotel. Like I thought asking for that would be too much on Friday. So and I'm hearing that Saturday is usually really crazy. It's supposed to be sold out. So it's sold out three-day badges for the whole weekend, and then it's sold out for Saturday badges tomorrow. So people were telling me that Saturday is usually pretty, pretty crazy and pretty packed. And other than a couple of like dead times because people were going to panels for the streamers, which is what they're here for in the first place anyway. And then on Sunday, you know, you're gonna have the usual last-minute buyers and all that. We are out of the pig head. The we're out of the pig head and no skate charm because we just didn't pack him. But that's the only thing that we've sold out of, like don't have any more of, but we have a lot of restocks for a lot of things, especially my things that's uh, really popular and sell. Haikyuu has been doing really, really well, and I was worried about debuting my Haikyuu stuff at this event, but it's actually done like amazingly well here, so. 
That's awesome. So yeah, we're gonna do this last 30 minutes and we done. All right, we are all covered up and that is the end of day one. set up for day two so it is a little after 10 o'clock so they've let VIPs in so they're already walking around so good thing is I thought we were sold out of Inosuke but well the pig had Inosuke we found two more in our restock so we actually did grab what was left of him so we have two more so I need to switch this to saying almost gone I'm actually just gonna take this off of here I shouldn't put it on his face there we go we went ahead and restocked stickers I think there's like a couple that like what's out here is what's out here I think that's for the cupcakes and a lot of the haiku stickers that's the case and then we went and restocked sticker sheets so I believe all the haiku sticker sheets that we have are out here and then we still have a couple of like Goja Cat and Dynamite but we had to restock them mystery bags I don't even know how many ten dollar mystery bags we have left it's not a lot and we had brought a lot, so I'm gonna be surprised if any, honestly, if any of the mystery bags make it through Saturday. If it's the same trend as yesterday with how people were buying them, they're not gonna, we're not gonna have it on Sunday. Which I guess just means that we're gonna shift everything down and have more room in the front. I don't know. That or we're gonna take the Pokemon mystery bags that we weren't able to put out and put them up here. So there's that. And then we have buttons. So Brittany went through and she restocked all of the buttons. Um, Gojo. He's like overflowing because we just decided to put the rest of them out here because there was only like one left and he's probably gonna be that won't be a problem for long but all the go that we have are out and then phone grips so the most popular phone grips so far have been tanjiro like the demon slayer phone grips i guess you should say demon slayer phone grips which we didn't bring restocks of because they don't usually they're not usually the most popular ones in general, so when we were choosing restocks, we didn't choose the Demon Slayer ones. So that's just the way it works. Like it doesn't matter what we would have brought. It, it, it just wasn't gonna be right either way. So um, earring wise, we only sold two pairs of earrings. No, we sold three. We sold small dynamy, a big dynamy, and then we sold some savior earrings. So Oh yeah, and we also, um, the first two standees that to sell were Hinata and Kageyama. So, we actually sold some of them. So, Haikyuu's been doing really well here. So, that's, I'm really happy about that. Here's hoping the day two goes the same way as day one.
haven't really done an update because it's been like hella busy because like the first two hours were like they were like steady sales but it was like kind of slow and i think that's because a lot of people were in panels because they have like their big panels today and after that it's just been like sale like crazy so i haven't even like really recorded any updates so we sold our first shirt for the weekend here so we sold that and then we are almost sold out of Aaron, and we're almost sold out of gato uh, Psyche. We still have a good decent amount, but I'll be surprised if he makes it through the weekend, honestly. Speaking of that, sticker-wise, we only have one sticker left of him, so once that's gone, that's gone. We got low on Bokuto and on Kimma, so I put all the rest that we have left of them out. Tsukuna Mouse, that same thing that what's out there is like what's left. Mystery bags, all of our $10 mystery bags are gone, like... They've, they've been going for a while actually this is the only 30 bag that we have left and then we have I think three or four more $20 bags left in our restock box for enamel pins uh, these are the only three left we have of Bakugo and we should have grabbed more of those but we didn't grab any restocks so it just it is what it is on those speaking of him we have two more left of his bag and then for shot glasses we sold out of the Dynamite shot glass and we've sold out of no, Dynamite Shot Glass is the one we sold out of. We sold out of the BT21 Glass Cup. That's what we sold out of down here. But we're down to one Pachita and we're down to one Sugana left. And one Big Fish. These should be switched. We have plenty of Gojo Kai. I think they got switched. People come and move them around because they're looking at them and stuff. So, yeah, one Beta Fish, one, one Pachita. No, two Suganas. Two Suganas, one Beta Fish, one Pachita. Yeah, we still have about four hours left in the con so the Saturday's been pretty crazy like we're already over yesterday so yeah it's, it's pretty insane pretty busy so here's hoping the last four hours is pretty the same I mean even if it isn't we still did pretty good for today oh yeah and our stamp rally has done really well like we're at the point where we're trying to like find more villain stuff to put into the bags because like just all of us are in shambles so making sure we have enough stock of just anything let alone stamp rally stuff i think we're like one of the only tape like people doing stamp rally at this event so i think that's also really helpful too so we're down to one bokuto and one Ita. the high q crowd has really shown up here at DreamCon. Also for mystery bags, these are our last mystery bags. That's all we have left. We've had people come back asking if we have any more $10 ones and that they've been gone for a while. And we've had people come back and buy like two or three of them. So yeah, that's it. That's all we got. So we just sold out of our last beta fish and we are now almost gone of the Pachita uh, glass cup. So this is the display is all we have left of that. Yeah, and we still have about, let's see, about two hours and 15 minutes. And we still have Sunday, so yeah. And we're down to three mystery bags. Oh yeah, and we also sold out of the Psyche sticker, so he is, he is gone. Okay, so literally 30 seconds after I recorded and said that, <laughs> we are down to our last $20 mystery bag. Okay, so we have replaced the other mystery bags with the Pokemon charm bag, the dinosaur bags here, and then we put sticker sheet bags here. So, 
we will see how they go. I'll be surprised if this makes it till the end of today. But hopefully we can get rid of some of these now. That box is restocked. Whoop. All the charms. She's so happy. Um, I don't know. An hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, so. And we're tired. <laughs> It'll be all right. Just shy of about 30 minutes left of the Saturday, day two. I was about to say of the con. We still have a whole other day. But yeah, someone came and got our second to last Bakugo ago eat it back. So all we have left is the display. So tomorrow I'm trying to decide. I think we're just gonna sell the display and then if somebody asks if we have Bakugo, we still have uh Izuku and Shoto, then I have a picture of the Bakugo and then I can show them and then they can still order it and I'll just offer free shipping and I'll ship it out when I get home. So I guess we should have brought more of him, but it is what it is. And it was funny because like whenever he bought it, I was about to put it into a paper bag. Like we have these big paper bags that we put them into. And he was just like, don't even put it in the bag. I don't have pockets because he was in a Gato cosplay. And he was like, I don't even have pockets. So I'm about to use this immediately. So that was pretty funny. But yeah, we have 30 minutes left. And it's been a long day. Very long, a good day, but a very long day. And like I was told that on Saturday, like once the big panels and stuff were done that's when you're gonna have the big rush and they were correct because it was like between one and three it was like a huge like rush of people that came in and bought stuff and then it like kind of died down again because there were uh, I think there was like someone was having a like impromptu meetup or something like that and then there was a lot of youtubers that were at their booths for their signatures and all that stuff so there was a lot of people that were over there and like once those got done we got like another little mini rush like around four or five o'clock ish so yeah that was pretty great It's day three. Day three. And we're tired. We're so tired. Okay, so we're inside and we're all set up. We still have like 45 minutes till they open up to VIP. It actually, we were able to get checked out of the hotel and everything like faster than I thought it was gonna be. So like we didn't have to leave as early as we did, but oh well, at least we're here and not having to worry about anything. So pretty much everything's the same. Only couple differences is I took Shinron off the little acrylic stand that he was on so that he was a little shorter down because the BT21 cup is gone so we have more room to show them so we'll see if that does anything because he's like the only cup design that hasn't sold and so I don't know if it's because people couldn't see him because he was higher up or what. And then we had this sign for the shirts over here in the print book. Um, I taped it right here to the side so maybe people will see it when they're looking at the charms or whatever, they'll see the sign. Because we have it to the side right here, because that's the only place we have for it, and so I just don't know if people aren't noticing it or what, but the one shirt sale that we made was made when someone saw it inside of the book, so I decided just to put the poster here. Hinata was very popular yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday alone that we sold through all five of his charms that I brought, so... I'm going to leave him as almost gone so that if somebody does want him, then I'll just cut him off the board and put a new one on there. Bokuto still has one more in the box in the back and the same thing. If there are two people that want him, then I'll just cut him off the board. Mystery bags, I was wrong. This $20 mystery bag survived yesterday, so we still have it. And then the rest are just Pokemon mystery bags and then the dinosaur pin, pin mystery bags. As for the status of the phone groups, so Toge and Gato, 
Nezuko and Zenitsu are all almost gone. And those are the ones that we did not bring restocks of. So naturally that's how it goes. Psyche is getting close though. He's either gonna be almost gone by the end of the day or probably sold out just because. And we brought his entire restock bag. Like I ordered 15 of him to restock and plus like a couple that we had left over from the last event and he's almost gone have like he has like one for sure he has one they have like one or two left and then aaron aaron has one left and aaron has not sold like go away frog go away <laughs> he hasn't sold like at all until now and then he's almost gone so we didn't bring any restocks to him because he never sells and he was been selling at this event, so it is what it is. It doesn't matter what you bring, it'll always be the opposite that sells. This is how we feel. <laughs> and then we had a couple more print sales Saturday than we did on Friday, so someone bought Bakugo that's up at the top left corner, the one where he has his hand outreached. He, cho he sold Choso, that was yesterday, and then Pop Art, Sukuna, right there. The new Sukuna hasn't sold yet. Mm. Apparently when I put backgrounds, people are like, nah. <laughs> so I, it's an excuse not to have to draw backgrounds anymore. I don't need to draw backgrounds. Yeah, except for Flower Gojo. Mm. Except for him. And then car decals. Sukuna has been popular as he always is. And Gojo Cat, he's gotten some attention, which he doesn't get usually much attention, so. Happy about that. And then Shenron. He's been getting his normal amount of love. So, that tracks. But yeah, today is... So they have from 10 to 11 is for VIP. And then from 11 to 5 o'clock is for the rest of general attendees. And then I have to drive back tonight. And I'm not looking forward to it. So hopefully we can pack up and get out of here pretty fast by like 6 or 6.30. This is Jordan. He wanted to be in the video. <laughs> Refilled like multiple times. times. I just sold him. Same for Sukuna. Geito, we didn't bring any. Toge, he hasn't sold in like forever. And then Izuku, these are our last two left in here. So, oh, and Kati, he was covering his mask self. <laughs> but yeah, man. Goodbye, Nanami. Xavier from Levity Space is almost gone. And I had to cut uh, 
Hinata off of the board so that we could sell him. And we've had like two or three people come ask if we had Hinata anymore and he is gone. We still have like three hours left. And we were like almost out of and or selling out of a lot of things. So that's very nice. Goodbye, Togan. It was nice seeing you. That's all sold, I have like literally after the hall closed, we sold one. We sold a bunch of buttons and a Katsu pen, and he's the last one we have. He's the last one we have, yeah. I'm surprised they made it through. It's a good thing they made it through, but yeah. But yeah, it, the hall closed about nine minutes ago, and they're ushering people out, so we are beginning to break things down. And then it will be a three hour drive back to Dallas. It has been a really good show. Like, I'm really happy with how DreamCon went. Like this is this is how the board looks right now. So I have a lot of restocking to do for San Japan. Because that's my next show with San Japan. Gato. Gato's oh, yeah. gone. Gato's, Gato's gone. by himself. Because that's the that's the last one. So yeah, there's a lot and some of these things are sold out, but it's because we just don't have them here. But I have more back at home, so thank you. Thank you, DreamCon, for being so good. And that was DreamCon. Start to finish, this con was very enjoyable for me, uh, from the crowds to how it was ran. Everything in my experience went really smoothly. Load in, I was worried because of the loading dock and how small it was, and that we were only gonna have 20 minutes to park our car and do all, like unload and everything. But they actually, it was really efficient. We got in, got our stuff unloaded, I was able to go move my car, and it worked out really great. I don't know how loadout worked with the loading dock because we didn't use the loading dock we loaded out. We just packed everything up and then walked our stuff back to the parking garage. So I can't speak for the loading dock when leaving. But yeah, I had a really good time. Everyone was super nice, super friendly, and it just was like a really fun con. It will be in Houston next year, so this year it was in Austin, next year it's gonna be moving to Houston, and I'm hoping that it will continue with its fan base. It seems to have its own fan base, so I don't see the move from Austin to Houston being a huge deal because a lot of people fly in for this con, so the only difference is they'd be flying into Houston instead of into Austin. It's also going to be at the same time as Fan Expo Dallas next year, so I gotta figure that out because I do want to reapply and go to this con next year. I'm already booked for Fan Expo Dallas, but I would like to also try and figure out to make DreamCon happen because it went so well for me. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you for everybody who came out and supported me at DreamCon. Thank you to everybody who's been watching my YouTube videos and supporting me that way. I also have an Instagram where I post all of my art, at Volpe Galaxy. And again, if you're interested in the Munbin printer, the links for that will be in my description. Anyways, that is it for now, and uh, the next video will be me at San Japan. So until then, I will see you guys next time.